everybody, this is Rob from uh, SonyRumors.net and we have a few things for you in today's episode mainly concerning uh, the Sony Internet TV Blu-ray player and that's the unit we went with since I didn't need another TV so I still want to test out all the things that went along with it um, also a little quick tidbit got the PlayStation Move shooter gun accessory attachment uh, so this finally came in the mail. Downside, I still don't have a PlayStation Move since I can't find one in stores and Amazon doesn't ship for another two to four weeks. So, I do have this though. Yay. From there though, this is, uh, oh yeah, another little tidbit too. I randomly have an 8 gig memory stick that I found. Apparently I bought it and never knew it, but since I have a 16 gig High speed one, I really don't know what to do with this, so maybe we'll give away on the site or something like that, because I have like three more 8 gigs. So, hey. But, here is the device, and we'll definitely give you a full video uh, overview of it and tour of what it does, but here we're just going to do a quick little unboxing of it, and seeing what is actually inside of this little guy. Or big guy, depending on how you look at it. Ugh. Some dramatic music playing here, or something completely corny from like CSI. Just take your pick. I gotta mention though, before we even really get into it, one thing I like about the box is it's uh, a lot simpler than Sony usually does it. Um, I don't know if it's on this one. Yeah, if you look at uh, like your traditional memory stick. Bunch of stuff, blah blah blah. Average person probably could care less about this and that it's in multiple, you know, languages. And then you turn it around, there's even more writing. Um, I always assume this is part of Sony's plan to keep things, you know, low cost because they want to ship to, you know, a bunch of different countries and they don't want to change the package. But again, if you look at something like Apple's products, you know, Apple ships their stuff worldwide too, but it's always a very simple, clean box. Again, if you look around this, it's a fairly simple, clean box. Just has a picture of the device and really about it. So that is always good in my point of view. So now that we actually get inside of this unit, uh, what do we have? I will be smarter than the box. Alright. First thing, an HDMI cable. Yay! For every PlayStation owner who's cried because they've came with composite cables. The power cable. The power brick apparently sits outside of this device. So that's what that is right there. Uh batteries for the remote and this is the I guess infrared receiver for the remote although I'm not sure why it wouldn't be built into it but hey we'll get to that here is the much talked about remote again extremely small in real life and now to the main guy is right here. Um, just drop that box. Comes with a manual, but you know, who needs that? And Our lovely box right over here. Very simple. You got your USB jack right here. The connect button, which I'm assuming is for Wi-Fi base. You know, connect to your internet. Eject button. I like it that it's uh, slot loading like the PS3. It's not a tray that comes out or something like that. That's always really nice. 
Again, simple clean black on top. And it's not as white as it looks in the pictures, and I actually kind of like that because most of my home theater is black. And on the back, you have an HDMI in, an HDMI out, gigabit Ethernet, or I'm assuming, and if not, it really doesn't make sense difference for this unit. Three more USB ports, and an optical out. Um, Again, I'm really not sure why all these units come with four USB ports. The TV does as well. Uh, I don't know if I'm really missing something, but I've yet to figure out why. But, again, here is the device. Uh, and the mighty remote. One package now, and it's in another package. Again, first impressions, I would say it's very small, very small, you know. Again, it's not like the Logitech units where you got to have a full-fledged keyboard or something like that. Uh, again, if you're a PlayStation owner, it definitely feels exactly like a DualShock 3. I mean, the fit is right there, maybe slightly smaller, but more or less feels like a DualShock 3. Trigger fingers right there. Um, and these are, again, for zooming and scrolling, so that's what those two buttons are right there. And then you have your QWERTY keyboard right here, which, good God, I want something like this forever. Being a TiVo owner, again, TiVo did, though, a few months ago, introduce a new uh, peanut keyboard that has the QWERTY built into it like a slider. But this is really nice. And again, it feels natural so far. Again, I haven't used it yet. And it's small, which I like because in my home theater, I have so many different stuff. And granted, I have the Harmony, you know, 1000 remote, which is the touch screen all in one unit, but again, for some stuff that's not good, like TiVo, it just doesn't feel natural, and I don't need to have big clunking units around, so I do like this. Uh, so this was our unboxing of the Sony Internet TV Blu-ray player. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to hook up the unit and give you a whirl and show you how the menus and all the good stuff works. So again, hopefully we'll catch you in a little bit.